today what I'll be telling you um, uh, today we, we, we are going to work with uh, dialogues right so I mean when it comes to dialogues uh, dialogue is the super class and there are some subclasses such as alert dialogue, progress dialogue, date picker dialogue and time picker dialogue and you can create a custom dialogue by using any of the classes that I mentioned right so this video tutorial uh, actually about mm, alert dialogue so let's get started with NBeats go to go and select android project and give a name um, let's say alert dialog test right and give a package name saying android dot test right ok let's say src right finish and base will generate some automa auto I mean automated code so what you need to do uh, you don't need these two right super dot on create right uh, next we need to create an alert bundle sorry alert builder right so let's say filter equals new alert dialog builder alert dialog dot builder this right next I'm using this builder mm, to create some message right uh, you can set a title if you want right. mm, let's say warning right and again builder dot um, set message are you sure right then you need I mean, if you say are you sure then there are there are two uh, possible answers saying yes or no mm, so if you want to show yes button right uh, what you have to say set positive button right so you can say yes or I mean it should not be yes right for the I mean for this question I'm, I'm saying yes but if you have a dif I mean different message uh, um, then you can say agree disagree likewise right mm, okay leave it now uh, okay we'll set okay this one in here we need to set now if it's a button I mean I mean if you click the button what will happen I mean if you click the button it should um, do some action so what I will do I'll create a new instance of <coughs> dialog wait I want to create an instance of log interface right then on click list right so it has an abstract method called on click what you have to do so you need to implement that on click so what will happen <coughs> actually um, on click listener <coughs> will listen right uh, at runtime so if you click a button so it will directly call implicitly call the on click method right so you need to specify what should happen if yes button clicked what I'm going to do I'm going to create a text view T sorry txt view new text view right and I should say main uh, activity so my activity name dot this right okay uh, you cannot directly say this 
rather than saying this one because it's uh, it will throw you in an error because you are in a different class now right here but if you are pointing this class so then you need to say the class name dot this so anyway those are the basic stuff in SCJP so uh, next what we have to do txt view dot set text you clicked yes right and set con content view right set content view and setting it to this one okay right next so that's all about it uh, next what you have to do right so leave this part here now you need to implement uh, the negative button also right builder dot set negative button saying no the same thing new dialog interface dot click listener right <coughs> so it's an interface right so, so that means you need to implement all the methods which are in the interface mm, for an example now here we don't need to do anything we just say my activity dot right this okay we'll do like this well we don't need to use my activity we'll use this okay we have to create an alert dialog instance here uh, reference here not an instance let's say alert D right so I just want to make it private right next what you have to do I'm using that alert D dot cancel right mm. now you need to uh, create the alert dialog right so builder dot create and alert <coughs> alert D dot <coughs> show right save it uh, I want to configure this to manual because I have I have already run the emulator here right so I'll run this let's see what will happen let's keep an eye on this one right I want this to be run Let's run it again. Okay, I want this emulator to be run. Say okay. Let's see. Right. Okay. This is the title warning. Are you sure? Um, if you press no, it will it it won't do anything. Right. So let's run that app again. If you press yes, what will happen? It should display you click yes. There you go. Right. So that's it uh, about uh, alert dialogs. Uh, uh <coughs> uh, in the next tutorial, we will be uh, I will be explaining you uh, the progress dialog. Right. Thank you.